Well, you've seen the graffiti, but have you seen the group of young men working to clean it up? And we pose that in question as we continue to work and find solutions to Portland's problems that we see all around us. Elise Haas here now, and as she discovered, the city is actually getting really creative. Yeah, so the city gave out about $800,000 in grants, and about $100,000 of that money went towards empowering a local nonprofit and boys to make the Alberta neighborhood a little bit brighter. Gloves go in with the garbage, dirty rags have their own. Everybody build up their own bucket. While the average teenager's hardship is high school drama, Trinell Washington's adolescence was marred by gang violence and jail time. Well, hey, so we're gonna finish off this last one right here. Born and raised in Northeast Portland. If anything, you could just shut the machine off if we're all ready to go over here. Washington successfully reintegrated into society after years of incarceration. Drawing from his journey, Washington established Brothers IC LLC, a commercial painting company, and the nonprofit Torch of Hope to address these societal challenges. Part of me being a contractor is I do uh, graffiti removal for the city of Portland for their smart park garages. And I know that there is an opportunity for young men in this community to learn to trade. Then came his bright idea. So I figured why not give some young men an opportunity to tear away from criminal activity and find a positive thing to do by cleaning up their city. With the help of a grant from the city of Portland. Trinell, help uh, Monty and Jay clean up the uh, pressure washer truck. He created a four week graffiti removal course for young men. We're looking for at risk those who may uh, be able to take this opportunity and really grow from it. Those that have a desire to want to learn, to, to, to help clean up their community and want to be able to pass that torch along. Indeed, there's a lot to learn. The first week is all instruction. So at first, we're going to pre-soak it. We always pre-soak stuff before we uh, put the product on there. We have two different um, classroom instructors that teach anything from marketing to communication to confidence to respect uh, to workforce development. Grab the brush. I just start working it in. The young men learn how to go out into the community and solicit businesses to offer their cleanup services for free. Together, these boys are defeating graffiti. It's amazing. Like, honestly, it's really cool to see the before and after. Nathaniel Willingham just finished middle school. This is my first job. First job? Okay, so what do you think of having your first job? I think it's pretty fun. He's gaining work experience and confidence. It's really amazing to be in this program, and I feel like I learned a lot from him. They're cleaning Terrell Brandon's barbershop and child care center. The former NBA star says he couldn't catch a break. Just from a, um, a neighborhood perspective, it's embarrassing. You know, every time you take the tag down, the next day they put it back up. Hopefully the, the taggers will kind of calm down a little bit and, and understand that we as business owners, this is affecting our business. The thought of a fresh facade gives business owners like Brandon a new lease on life. It makes my heart feel good that you have young men that's out here really trying to, you know, help the community out. And it doesn't take long. Thank you, everybody. This is amazing work you're doing. You're, you're so welcome. welcome. I don't know who you are or why you're here, but it's amazing. Thank so you. Glad. Before other business owners nearby take notice. And what a fantastic solution to provide grants to community organizations and then empower young people and give them skills, give them experience, engage them in the community in a way that actually is a win, win, win for everyone. The wins go further than one might think. Washington says a job opportunity like this holds long lasting meaning in the lives of these young men. Having those skills go a long ways when it comes to deterring an individual from peer pressure, from bullying, from gang violence, and uh, different things like that, because they then know who the value of themselves and what they're worth. Just ask Nathaniel. I'm interested in like inventing things. He's already dreaming big. All right, so with the city's grant, the nonprofit Torch of Hope is offering graffiti removal services free of charge to Portland businesses. Um, the teens make about a couple hundred bucks a month uh, for a week for that month. Um, and then um, the first group 
was done in July. The second group is now underway, and they're also going to have money for a third group next summer.